Hi, today I want to make a video about love. Basically, I want to talk about Christian love. What does it mean? What does it look like? It says in the Bible, you will know that they are a Christian by their love. In other words, you will know whether someone's a genuine Christian by their love for other people. Now, we can't judge who's not a Christian, and we shouldn't judge who's not a Christian. The Bible clearly tells us that um, the wheat will grow with the chaff, and the chaff and the wheat will gather up at the end of the day. In other words, you can't know who's a Christian uh, who, from who's not. But you can know who is a Christian, you just cannot know who's not a Christian. So, I wanted to talk today, well, what does this actually mean for a Christian to actually love other people? What does that love actually look like? How does it manifest itself? Because in today's society, people are very much uh, wanting to be on their own and, and wanting to live their own lives. And it's very difficult to get in with the lives of other people and actually love them. So what does it mean for a Christian person to actually love other people? Well, there are a number of things that a Christian can do or not do to show that they love other people, to show Christ's love that lives within them. There's certain things that a Christian, a true Christian, will show if they have Christ in their heart. If they love other people and have Christ in their heart, a Christian will show these manifestations. Firstly, a Christian will be willing to forgive and will ask God to help them forgive. In other words, a Christian will not want to be in unforgiveness towards somebody. So as a non-Christian might forgive certain people, but not certain other people, and might think, well, that person doesn't deserve my forgiveness, but this person does. You see, you mustn't get into the idea that non-Christians can't forgive anybody, because they can and they do. And some unbelievers can be very forgiving. But a Christian is called to forgive everybody, even those people that the Christian doesn't think deserves forgiveness. So a Christian is somebody that forgives everybody, forgives all the people. Now, they may struggle with that, but the, the desire to forgive everybody is there. So a Christian will desire to forgive everybody who's hurt and wounded them and maimed them. Whereas a non-Christian will not have that same desire. They may still forgive people, but they won't have the desire to forgive everybody who's hurt them necessarily. So a Christian understands the importance of forgiveness and how important that is. Because if you, if you don't forgive people, it all, all gurgs up inside you and destroys your life, basically. It's, it's not a good thing to do to be in unforgiveness. So one of the ways a Christian shows their love is by forgiving everybody that's hurt them. Or when they struggle to forgive someone, asking the Holy Spirit to help them forgive that person or group of people, which it may be needed to be the case because even forgiveness for a Christian doesn't happen instantly. There's a process and sometimes it can be very difficult, but all the while the Christian desires to forgive those people. Secondly, a Christian shows that they are loving by not being indifferent. In other words, they, they, it's very easy these days to be indifferent to people. What I mean by that is, 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 oh, well, I don't really love them, I don't really hate them, I don't really care about them. That sort of an attitude. If a Christian has that sort of an attitude, then they're not showing they're a Christian by their love. If you love somebody, if you love people in general, you will not choose to be indifferent towards them. So that could be manifest in, in not ignoring people, not uh, shoving people away. You know, it's very easy to, to sort of... Uh, just put hold on people and, and not bother to have anything to do with them. And it's not, you'll say, well, it's not that I hate them, I'm just indifferent towards them, I don't love them, I don't hate them. Whereas a Christian can't do that. If a Christian loves, it has the love of Christ in them, they won't do that, they won't just be indifferent towards other people. They'll want to care about other people in the way, in the best way they can care about other people. In other words, they will say hello to that person they otherwise wouldn't care about. They will um, hang around or might hang around a little bit with somebody who's unpopular, even if it, it makes them appear unpopular. That's a true Christian. A true Christian is a kind person. So that, that's how a Christian shows their love. The third way a Christian shows 
that they're loving is by refusing to be passive with people. So if you've got a problem with people, if a Christian has a problem with someone, they go and make it right, with, they go and, and deal with that person. They say, look, you know, I, I don't mean this to offend you, but you hurt my feelings when you did blah, 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 blah. Or you, they, 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 they desire to clear the air between themselves and another person. It's so easy these days in this present society to be passive to act like somebody hasn't done you any harm when really you've got a grudge or something against them. And a Christian will not desire to be like that. A Christian will take note of when Jesus said, if if you know your, your brother has something against you, go leave your gift at the altar and make it right with them. So, you know, if, if, you've, got, if you've got things between you and somebody else, you leave your gift and you go and make it right with them. If, if you're angry or upset with somebody, Go and tell them, you know, be honest, just say, look, you know, you, you hurt my feelings when you did that or, or whatever. A Christian will not want to be passive and hide what's really going on, because if you hide things and be passive, it builds up and up and up and the anger and the unforgiveness and whatnot get more and more and more. And it ends up just devastating you. And it's not very loving then when you're all gunged up with stuff against somebody it's better to just clear the air politely but straightforwardly clear the air with the person and make things right don't, don't be passive and a christian who's showing their love shows it by refusing to be passive the fourth thing is kindness now it's not easy to be kind to people these days because people often aren't open to it but a christian will seek ways to be kind to other people to be kind natures to talk to that person who nobody talks to to uh, give a, a, a lifting and encouraging word to somebody who nobody bats an eyelid towards you know at the end of the day you don't know what's going on in people's lives it could be people on the verge of suicide and you wouldn't know about it but mm -hmm. one uplifting word from a christian with the love of christ can change that person's day it can really do wonders with them so kindness is is another thing uh, patience, all the gifts of the Spirit, uh, not the gifts, but the fruits of the Holy Spirit, sorry, is, is showing them, being desiring to show those fruits is what shows uh, that a Christian is loving. A, Christ, a loving Christian is not arrogant. They don't think that they're better than other people. They don't look at someone and think, oh, I'm certainly better than that person, or oh, that person's not popular, or that person's, uh, you know, not like me. That a, a loving Christian doesn't think like that. One of the ways a Christian shows they are loving is by um, accepting other people, even other people he would otherwise think uh, would might be beneath him. There isn't anybody who's really beneath him. It says in the Bible that a Christian is, should treat other people as if they're better than, than a Christian. And that's the command, and, and that's a very difficult command. Uh, I don't see a lot of Christians practicing that, and sometimes I don't practice that either. You know, treating other people as if they're better than me is a very important aspect of the way we show we're loving towards other people. Not holding the past against people. Accepting that people can change. Um, I think another thing, way that Christians show that they're loving, for the true Christians, is by believing in other people. In other words, saying that, well, actually, I believe that you can change from the past. I believe that you're not the same person you were before. Um, and that God has made a difference in your life or you're a different person and being positive about people instead of negative I think is a way that Christians show that they're loving. Anyway I hope that's helped uh, when it comes to showing we are Christians by our love. Thanks for watching.